applications tonight. Uh, I think before we do anything, I intend to swear in uh, witnesses that are going to give testimony before this board tonight in any one of the three applications. Uh, if you're going to give the testimony tonight, please raise your right hands. You swear to tell the truth, nothing but truth, and matters before this board tonight under penalties of perjury. I do. Thank you. Um, so our first application is by Bradley Town for a preliminary and final plan review of a minor two-lot residential subdivision. Brad, could you explain to the board what you're doing uh, and uh, give us an overview and then we'll go through the criteria specifically. Well, basically what I'm trying to do is uh, downsize a little bit. I've got too much acreage. Taxes are killing me, as you all know. <laughs> and. Uh, this parcel, uh, though it's connected to the farm, will never be productive, even as pasture. And I'm just looking to, we have a buyer for it that wants to build a house on it. And I'm more than willing to let them. Okay, um, we have uh, a plat and a, and a plan. Uh, and we actually have all the full size stuff there. Well, that would be good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, con I'm a you little may, confused. You, you may want to look at that, Josh. Yeah. Well, is, so is this, this is the full parcel now? Is that, I mean, what is this? That is the full parcel. And what are you subdividing off? Are you subdividing off this you, piece? That little piece that sticks out on the very bottom edge. This, the, this one? Yep. Yeah. So between Jones Brook and Jones Brook Road? It's just the very bottom. Oh, here we go. Okay. That's the way yeah, you're right. Oh, so this piece right here is this piece on here? No. 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 It's just a little piece down here. Oh, down here. It's, yeah. It's oh, it's, so where does... Okay. I guess, where does the piece end? The, the, sub, the, yeah, the five acres? Yeah, so where, is it just this little thing here? And not even the full amount of it. Wow, okay. You have a separate flat, which is. I the, know, but it, yeah, it was sort of confusing to me yeah. how much. Yeah, it they, don't, they don't show, they don't show yeah. where it begins or ends, but. Uh, right. Uh, had, that piece has been surveyed. So. <laughs> so this is just that area right there? It's just that yeah. little area. Little bit yeah. Okay. All right. Um, well, that's helpful to know. Is anyone here uh, asking me this party in this application tonight? Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is go through the subdivision standards. Uh, this is a fairly straightforward application, but we just we need to dot the eyes. They're either applicable, not applicable. Uh, if they're applicable, um, how say you? You know. Um, and this is, has to do with capacity of community facilities and utilities. What page are you on, Bob? I'm on page uh, 363, <coughs> subdivision standards. Mm -hmm. And basically, it speaks to impacts on local schools, police fire protection, road infrastructure and maintenance, parks and recreational facilities, water supply, and so forth. Um, you know, it seemed to me it would have no impact on these. I think we have from Tom, left us some notes that, yeah. that basically the uh, no comments were received by the police, nor the fire, nor the road, road foreman. Right. Uh, so, uh, but it's a two lot subdivision. Uh, I can't imagine there's any significant impact on any of those. There's only one new structure. Basically. Yep, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna work through these, unless somebody really wants to explore these things more. <laughs> Suitability of the land must be suitable for use without endangering public health. I'm not going to read through all this, and yeah. it's not in the floodplain. Is that correct? That's correct. It's about it. Okay. Uh, as far as suitability, uh, I had this property for sale once before. Um, the agreement I had with the fellow was I would subdivide it, and um, I wasn't going to take and spend a lot of money on it. 
and he had uh, he had it surveyed. He had it um, perked. Okay. And then he started saying I was going to pay for some other stuff, and I said no, it wasn't. <laughs> so now we're here <laughs> with a different buyer. Um, so it does perk then. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The. Um, Design and configuration of parcel boundaries. I don't think that's applicable. It speaks to multiple lots, you know, yeah. and, and, and laying them out and so forth. Um, uh, no foreseeable difficulties obtaining zoning permits. It just, you know, have you talked about a, a, a access drive? There is one there now that um, the kids, when they were younger, they had their four wheelers, their four by fours. They've been going in and out of that parcel. It's basically right across from uh, the access point there that Trey is talking about using for this parcel is right across uh, from Mrs. White's house. Oh, okay. And for the most part, it will meet yeah. the uh, uh, the uh, site picture for the traffic. So obviously, before he, the person that buys us to get to develop, he's going to have to get an access permit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A road yeah. permit. The nice thing about it is it's on the downhill side of the road and there's no culvert or ditches. Um, uh, lot dimensions? I don't think it's applicable. Just that it's the right size, right? And it is, so. I mean, the five acre. Yeah, um, yeah it meets the minimum standards. Yeah. Yeah, yes, that's yes, it. Yes, yeah. It does meet the minimum standards. Right. It's certainly got plenty of frontage. And uh, it's it's more than large enough. Yeah. Of course, this is a forty thousand square foot. Yeah. We're talking about five acres. Yeah. Um, building em envelopes. I can't remember if your survey showed the building. He did not show the building em envelope. So, um, uh, building envelope. Basically, the survey flat should show a building envelope. And uh, I think we're going to ask your survey because it's a requirement to add that to the drawing. Okay. The building envelope is that portion that can be used, which which basically is the setbacks. Yeah. And so uh, he would show the setback, front yard setback, um, riparian setback, and the um, which is also the rear lot setback, and then the uh, side yard setbacks. I thought that was included with the, the uh, what I gave Tom. Uh, well, maybe it's not included in this. Neither the originals. Yeah, that was the original thing here. Yeah. Because hmm. so I remember he gave me a he gave me a, a survey that had red lines on it that what he considered the setbacks. Hmm. I thought I brought that in. Um, I've not seen it. If we have it, then that's fine, but if we don't have it, okay. then we yeah. need to have it. It's, it's, it's a yeah. Basically, it, it, it says that this is the boundaries within which you can put a house. I mean, unless there's a specific spot already selected. Sometimes people just put them, but if there's not, it's, you know. They put the yeah, biggest. Yeah. 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 Again, it's just raw land. I don't know how you, the owner's going to take and try to put the house there. Right. But this is sort of the, the buildable land that yeah. is shown, and then they have the house within that. You would exclude floodplain, you would exclude yeah. setbacks. Yeah. Okay. Wetlands, you would exclude. Well, I'll talk to Glenn tomorrow and see what he's got. <coughs> um, roads, no roads anticipated, but they would do, we talked about roads earlier. You do anticipated access, yeah. and you will have to get an access. Have to, the road access will need, need to meet the um, um, these everyone one standard, and uh, you will need a permit, obviously, for the site for it, as you may know. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, the, uh, the road will have to be, because I'm not sure where the owner is going to want to put it. Yeah. It's yeah. such times the owner wants to get a permit from yeah. uh, the zoning administrator for the house. Yeah. So, uh, we're not, we're not VA and anything about the house, it's yeah. just about the subdivision. Um, and I don't think anything else is applicable in that roads. No. Pedestrian bicycle facilities, I don't think that's necessarily no. applicable. Water and wastewater, um, mm -hmm. and they you will need on-site wastewater permits. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have them yet. Or do you? Again. No. <laughs> and it'll be up to Trey. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. In other words, um, but you would envision on-site water and on-site wastewater. And have to get yeah, I mean, there's certainly enough land there to yeah. do yeah. both. Yeah. 
What is firefighting facilities? To provide water for that's fire protection. That's really in a large subdivision. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's a large subdivision that's not applicable. Uh, there is a book there. <laughs> um, public and private utilities, not applicable. No. Landscaping, mm -hmm. not exactly. applicable. Erosion control. Uh, that would be up to the whoever develops Yeah, whoever develops it needs yeah. to meet the minimum standards. Um, stormwater management, again, mm -hmm. we're not talking about much impervious area, so it's not really applicable. And uh, structure maintenance and necessary improvements, there are none. Monuments and lot mar corn markers, and obviously that it's going to have to be, you know, staked out once you subdivide it. Yeah. Um, since you're using two brooks as center lines, that's always interesting. <laughs> and a road. Yeah. So, um, character of the area. It's consistent with the character of the area. Mm -hmm. There are a number of residential structures right along there. Yeah. Across the road and so forth. And soil preservation. Not uh, really applicable. Not really applicable. So um, uh, we've gone through the criteria. Uh, are there any questions by board members? My only question is, do we re do, does this new layout, re would it require that we put conditions on the subdivision for the stormwater and the erosion control and all that when it's developed, or no? I mean, I guess we can talk about that after, but... I, if we thought they were, they because were necessary... Because they don't come with the, with the zoning application no. when they get the house permit, so I'm just wondering <coughs> if that's something that we have to put. They don't. Well, well it, they do. They do they? I would think so. I think the zoning permit would identify yeah. any, if, if they were, for instance, if they were in a pervious area of significant amount, I, I would think uh, that would be in the zoning permit. Okay, well, just a thought, because we didn't oh. used to have all this in the... I mean, the only thing, you know, and it is perkable, I mean, that we just want to make sure that it is buildable, that it's a viable lot. So, but it can have wastewater, and I assume there's water, I mean, that Five acres should produce something. You know, you got ledge across the road. The, the actually the lawn that Mrs. The, the Whites maintain across the road belongs to me, and there's a spring up in there too. Okay. So there's water in the ledges. So, okay. And the ledges are right there next to this lot on the other side of the road. Mm -hmm. My sense is whoever developed it probably do it real well. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, okay. Do you have anything you want to add? No. So I'll take and I'll talk to Glenn tomorrow and see if he can get a. That's the only thing I see missing is, is, is a, yeah. a, and I didn't reread this again, but I'm pretty certain that our requirements are that the uh, that the building envelope be yeah, identified, yeah. identified, which should sure. take them all of half hour. Um, so at the most, um, it's just a setback and what is any significant public. That 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 Jones Brook has never been delineated for floor plan, has it? I don't I think don't so. The um, when you get once you get down past this point and you get next to the the hay field that you have on your colored map, yeah. the the brook widens out and that floods all the time. But that's just yeah. the way it is. Yeah, always has. And then um, the brook that's where it runs beside. When you get down your house, you're in a flood. <laughs> right. Well, that's, that's what we put. We put five feet of gravel under the house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the the cellar of the old house would always be wet in the spring. So, but, yeah, I mean, this is actually quite a distance away. I mean, there's looks like up by the road. I mean, that's quite a distance away from the brook. So I don't think that's a. That's a pretty. It's a long, narrow piece. Yeah. You know, there's probably. It's probably three toward the widest part. I think it's around um, 300 feet or so, maybe a little bit more. About 250. 250. <laughs> yeah. Well, on one end is 250. There's a wider part. Apart from that, so yeah, you're probably right. But I mean, the, the the on the narrow end, it's. I mean, you can from the road, you can throw a stone into the brook. Oh, really? Okay. So it's not very wide. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do that. <laughs> well, it's all, it's all straight down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. May have been able to one time, but 
No, um, it, the the upper end there, uh, where the where the little stream comes down out of the you know, woods, that is very narrow. Mm -hmm. and in fact, I think when the when you get the plat, you'll you'll probably see that the the there's only like five feet that you use between the brook and the road right away. Oh, okay. <clears throat> So, but the first, from that end toward the house, the first probably three, four hundred yards is just too steep and too narrow to use. I'm not sure I want you selling property for me. I made a point to be honest. I took, in, I took and showed Trey exactly what he was looking at. And I, I just told him I was getting rid of some land. <laughs> okay, does anybody have anything else? I would entertain a motion. Ah, I move to close this. Okay. Motion been made to close the hearing. Second. Oh, I, 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 before, um, I'll, I'll do the part of the discussion. I have a second that motion. Second. I should point out we do have comments from the zoning administrator. Oh, yeah. I, I'd like to add, ask they be added into the record. Um, and basically it had to do with the no buildings are currently being proposed. Uh, there's no septic design. And no comments were received by the chief of police, which I fixed earlier. So mm -hmm. I'm going to add that into the record. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Motion second. Favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And the hearing is closed. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have an application by David and Elizabeth Cohen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. And you are? I'm Craig Chase with Chase and Chase Land Spirits and Septic Designers. Consultant on this project. Could you say your name more closely? By the way, have you signed in? Yeah. Okay. Everybody signed in here, right? Okay. Uh, because our recording secretary is not here, we're going on things like recording. Yep. I'm Craig Chase. Um, well, David, this is you large want to sit up here? No, I don't think you can do anything. Okay, perfect. perfect. <laughs> Next to this. You never got these. I did. I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, why don't you, um, so, if you were following the. the yeah. Who are the actual applicants? Are, are you the applicants? Oh, oh there. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so. Uh, would you give us an overview of the project, please? Sure. Uh, the Dow's currently on a four-bedroom single-family residence lying on 3.45 acres of property at the intersection of Black Road and Crosstown Road. Um, they wish to subdivide the property to create a new building lot, lot two on our plan of 1.87 acres. They will retain 1.58 acres with their house. Um, the properties in the RL40 district, both lots exceed the acreage requirements, road frontages, etc. Um, we have put the building setback limits on the proposed building lot on the plan. Mm -hmm. um, the site has been per tested and a septic design has been done and I have an application for them to sign as soon as we come field. There are any major issues here uh, to submit for a wastewater permit? Um, so, I'm sorry, I didn't get the. So you have not received it yet. We have not submitted the wastewater oh, application. Submitted. I have it literally here in a file okay. for them to sign. And pending, there's no major issues tonight. Um, okay. Um, somehow, I managed to change pages. I lost my subject regulations. <laughs> so I'm going to go back. Go back here. Because I'd like to go through the criteria. Sure. I, I know you addressed some of the criteria. Sure. Yeah. And we appreciate that always. But um, uh, I guess before I do that, well, I'll ask the board members, did you have any questions on the application before we begin with the criteria? No. Okay. I'd just like to add that it's an L-shaped lot. And we're taking basically two pieces like this and making two rectangles. I, I guess I do have a question because I see there's sort of a little jog in sure. there. Sure. And I was just wondering why there's the jog rather than a straight rectangle. Yeah, we have, um, 
there's going to be a mound system right on right. this corner. So initially we had the property line a straight shot across there with an easement. The DOTS preferred that we have the property line be there as opposed to an easement so yeah. that there's no Makes sense. issues. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> any other questions about board members? Yeah. I have one, but it's specific to a criteria, so I'll wait till we get there. Okay. The, the plan shows the, the well. The well is between the house, proposed house and the road. Is that it? That would That's correct. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, thanks. The, um, so, um, Capacity of community facilities and utilities. Oh, and again, uh, as in the last case, we do have pre filed testimony from right. Tom. Uh, and I, why don't I go through that first instead of last? <laughs> Since I almost forgot it last time. Um, and Tom says the subdivision is in the rural 40 district, which we know, and the lots would be what the lot sizes are, which is also part of the application. Um, uh, this says the septic system has been sent to the state of Vermont, but it has not. Right, and Tom and I discussed that yeah. last week. Yeah, mm -hmm. So it has not. Okay. Yeah. And it says written comments were received from the chief of police and the fire, and they were attached. And we have the comments from the uh, chief of police saying there is no adverse impact on Berlin. And um, we also have the comments from the uh, chief of uh, fire chief. Uh, and his comments are to require that a driveway be a minimum of 12, 12 feet wide. I forget what yours is, but 20 feet, is it? What's your driveway with? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Um, well, anyway, that's what he said. Sure approximately more, 16 feet. Oh, okay. saying, I'm sure it's more than 12. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, that's why. Yeah. Okay, um, so those are his comments, and, uh, um, so going through the criteria, capacity of community facilities, and this again speaks to fire protection, uh, police, and, and we've heard from them. Uh, anything else with regard to capacity of communities? So two lot subdivision, so impact on schools should be minimal. Uh, and they probably love more kids. Yeah. <laughs> in the current environment, that the, the issue of, of, of being overburdening the school <laughs> yeah. it could be just the reverse. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. hope you'll have lots of children. Yeah. Yeah. You should get bonus points, right? Yeah. <laughs> the um, suitability of the land must be for suitable for use without endangering public health, safety, adverse impact on the environment, and. Uh, and not subject to flooding. We don't think it's subject to flooding. No, um, definitely not. And certainly that is why we've done test pits and whatnot to ensure yeah. that we can, and the state engineer was the, there on site for the test pits. Now that lot's not too steep, I think, is it? It's like got a pretty good grade on it. It's a fair grade, yeah. We're at close to 20% where the septic's going, which is the nice cutoff. Job, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Certainly the driveway as proposed coming in comes in flat for ways and then we'll slab the hillside a little bit going towards the outside. So yeah, you didn't show us the profile like that we did you. No. Uh, I'll ask you about that later when we get that criteria. Um, design and configuration of parcel boundaries. You address that, but I'm not sure that's really an issue in this case. Again, we're just talking about one lot subdivision, two lots of subdivision, one new lot. Um, uh, there are a lot of other sub criteria which I have not familiarized myself with entirely yet. I've only got one question related. Oh no, that's the next one, sorry. Okay, I'll go, I'll, go, I'll go right to the next one, lot dimensions. <laughs> Yeah, no, then the next big okay, category. Okay, well, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks the 
Oh, oh, this looks good. Okay, so it's, and then it speaks to them building envelopes, and lot dimensions, and mm -hmm. you meet all the minimum standards, and you've shown us the envelope. Um, uh, 3505, design and layout of necessary improvements. And the only one I think that's applicable here is the access road. And um, that's where I do have a question. What's the grade going to be on the access road? I, my assumption would be that it needs to be 12% or less for oil trucks, et cetera. Well, it actually needs to be B71 standards, which means the first 20 feet. Off 20 the feet, actually, it dips down a little bit at a 4% grade and before rising back up mm -hmm. so that water from the driveway doesn't rush out onto the road. As this lot lies, you could only go away from the road with it. You couldn't, right. You'd have to put a tremendous amount of fill to get it to drain back to the town road. Right, but what we want to be sure is that the first four feet needs to be 21. The first 20 feet yep. needs to be 27, B71 standards. Uh, so we don't have to have racing up into the road like the next three lots. <laughs> um, no. uh, so that's the only thing we remind you of that. Um, I, I couldn't remember how much the drop was there. I know further along the road drops off pretty. Uh, the, it, the bank yeah. is steep fast. It definitely does, and this curb cut location was chosen for that reason. That it is, you, you literally could drive off the road right now with a two wheel drive vehicle. Okay. Um, I remember the time somebody did that. <laughs> Didn't quite make the corner. Were you living near that? What's that? Were you living at the house at the time that somebody drove off the road and? Through your drive, through your yard, get back on the road again. No. Which time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The poor trees there have taken yeah. such a beating over the years, but they still grow. They're That's winning. The, <laughs> <laughs> the cars are not winning. Yeah. <laughs> um, anything further on well, roads? My, roads? No, no, no. Okay. If I go back to one on the building envelope, just. To, According to the rules here, it says for lots more than two acres in size, the building envelope generally must be limited to not more than one acre, but one principal building will be located on an individual lot. This is less than Yeah, two each acres. one is less than two. Each, each one is less than two, but you should have brought that up in the last one. Oh, yeah, right. Let's yeah. yeah. call Brad back. Two. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> one application is too late. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell Tom to. To make sure everybody gets that message. Uh, <laughs> reads that. Yeah, because you just can't do, do that. Like, Envelope yeah. for five years. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll point that out. Um, thank you. We always learn new things by reading these new yeah. regulations. Um, so, uh, moving forward instead of backwards, bicycle pedestrian facilities, uh, not really applicable no. in this case. Um, the, um, although I'm seeing more and more bicycle use on Crosstown Road. Oh, yeah. yeah. And pedestrians. I have not seen bicycles. Seen really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Only when the road's closed in the springtime, there's lots of people. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's, used, it's used pretty heavily by pedestrians and bicycles. Yeah. yeah. I always um, have mixed thoughts about the ones coming up here at Hart Hill. <laughs> um, Water and wastewater facilities, you addressed that earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. You have a design. Um, I have a question, I guess. I, I, we really need to be the ordinance. You do have the well in the setback. Mm -hmm. And I, I can't remember. I thought that was okay. But I, there, I thought there, it excluded certain things. Mm -hmm. I, have to... I mean, the, 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 the bylaws speak to structures. Any structure within a can't be built within a setback, so is it? And, and there's no question in my mind but a well is a structure. Um, yeah. Unless it's exempted. Do you remember? I thought, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything about utilities. We had a discussion about this before it was involving the uh, Chamber of Commerce, didn't we? That, we did. That, yeah. that had to do with underground right. facilities. But, right, uh, but that was still a structure. Uh, yeah, and they were exempted. Utilities, public utilities were, were exempted, but this is not a public utility, this is a private utility. So I, I, it's, I, I meant to read that before I came up, but I forgot. So I, I didn't know. 
you have to be there? Oh, well, it's just <laughs> scratching my head. If, if it does, and if it doesn't, if it can't be there, I'm going to have to, we're going to have to have a meeting. <laughs> yeah. And we'll probably have to have some sort of easement onto their existing lot. Well, let us review that. Um, I, I, I just, again, we're new to the bylaws, and, and I, um, I think the old, the old bylaws would not have been an issue. Under these, I don't know that. I, yeah. The first time it's ever come up for me. Yeah, yeah it's the first time I've seen that, so, and, and I realize why you've done it. Mm -hmm. um, why, was, why did you do it? Just kind because of, that's the best place to Yeah, if you see this, the back of the lot because this back. odd shaped thing around here, it's called a wastewater system isolation. Yeah. I see. It's the area that's too close to the proposed mound oh, to right. have a well drilled right. within. So. Right. Where would it be? <laughs> Good question. And there's, oh, there's obviously a couple I of ice wastewater systems across the road. You have not identified them on this drop map. Uh, they appear to be based on looking at satellite imagery that, that's worded right <coughs> there. So. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, and we will be sending uh, certified mailings to the abutting landowners. You have not sent that yet? No. Okay. You won't do that until you do the application of the state. Correct. So. so. As, as you know, any permit we issue will be conditioned upon the receiving approval from the state, which is conditioned upon these plans. Which, if I can sidetrack just for a second, I'm coming in next two weeks with a project where we're just proposing lots. How, how will that play out? Do we need building envelopes on when we aren't proposing? We are the ones who are building envelopes. Building, building envelopes on the lots. Okay. How but, many lots? There'd be four total rooms currently developed, and they're all five-acre lots, five-acre plus. So the rule that he was reading is applicable. We don't want a five-acre. <laughs> okay. um, but um, no, I mean we're 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 basically doing a subdivision for a single-family unit. It has to be able to accommodate that. Otherwise, I mean we do subdivision but without a unit. <laughs> Uh, still has, needs to get a separate permit for the building, but sure. that will be such time as the builder yeah. decides to write the structure. Um, any other questions or concerns about water and wastewater facilities? So we will look that up. I, I, you know, if it's not a problem, I'll have Tom get this with you. Yep. Um, uh, firefighting facilities, not really applicable. Mm -hmm. We're talking about single family residence. Public and private utilities. And again, we're not talking about private utilities or public facilities, not applicable. Um, landscaping, 3505. My only question is it's very, seems very wooded now, mm -hmm. that lot. Are, what, are you going to clear cut? Leave as many trees as you can, or I mean, I. You know. Yeah, it's, I mean, obviously it's hard to say because they're proposing to sell it to somebody that will oh, okay. be their lot to do that with. Um, certainly, they. I don't believe you have plans to. to you know. we would be so, so this, this house that's shown here, is. Not necessarily the house that will be built if somebody else is going to build it. This is just showing how it could right. be. The road, the driveway won't be there, though. No. Not necessarily. No, not at that. They drive, will, drive will be there where you're showing it. It, it will be in that location. It won't be developed. Right. Well, that's what I mean. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So that's not going anywhere. Right. Yeah. But I, I think, you're, again, we're locked into that position based on... Okay, the, so that, that will be like the location of the house and, it's, and the driveway well, and right. the septic and the well. Oh, within that building envelope. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you have something about landscaping? You were well, I just asked about the trees because okay. it's very wooded. Um, erosion control and under our bylaws, any, any, any construction undertaken has to meet the minimum standards of um, 32 and 9 of these regulations. Um, 
monument lawn marker that's applicable with some it's part of the survey um, no no uh, necessary improvements so 305J is not applicable 306 care to the area in the settlement pattern I think this would kind of qualify as infill it's between several similar mm -hmm. type lot residences on that particular section of road. And I don't see Paul here, so he must not have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I assume Paul was notified. Uh, and um, soil preservation. It was our standards for stock plotting and topsoil. So, um, and in conformance with regulations. And the best of my knowledge just conforms to the other. The best of my knowledge as well, yeah. The only thing I'm worried about is that setback on the, on the yeah. well. Yeah, I, I still haven't found that, so. Yeah. Well, yeah, along those lines, um, somebody developing this lot will have to cross the road to a power pole before going underground. Would have power pole within the setback be considered a structure? No, that's specifically exempt at a utility. Yeah. So, uh, see, those um, water, wastewater utilities, electric utilities, those are exempted from the setback requirement. It just didn't speak to, I, I have to reread what it does with wells. Yeah. Right. I'd be curious to see if it does specifically say well, municipal water utilities yeah. or just water utilities. Yeah. I, I, I meant to reread that before I came, but I did not have a Something about barbecue chicken. Um, <laughs> uh, are there other questions for the applicants? The applicants representative or the applicants themselves? Did you have anything that you wanted to add? <coughs> okay, another year has been requested party status. Well, move to close the hearing. We have a motion to close the hearing. Second. 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 Any discussion on that motion? I just gave that motion. Please say by the same aye. Aye. Opposed? Nays? And the motion passed. We are opposed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Second is um, Charles Parker. I'm uh, Mike Legendess from Legendess Construction, and Charles Parker is here this evening to attend the meeting. Okay, um, and who will be giving testimony? Yourself or and myself, and maybe Charlie might have a few words to say. Okay. Charlie, were you sworn in? I don't think I was sworn in. No. Please raise your right hand. You swear to tell the truth, not the truth, and that is the board's board tonight. On the penalties of perjury. Sure. Yes. Okay. And is anybody else asking for party status to this application? Hearing none. Um, so, uh, why don't you give us an overview of what's going on here? Is everybody familiar with 60, uh, 641 Comstock Road, where this building is? Mm -hmm. Everybody familiar with it? Mm -hmm. uh, you're probably familiar with the original building in the front, is the old, is the old Cape. Yeah. And this is where the work will be happening. Uh, presently, uh, there is one apartment upstairs in, in the Cape part of the building, and there's uh, four other commercial rentals there. So what we're doing is we're converting it. Uh, one of the commercial rentals, we're turning into three, uh, one two-bedroom and two one-bedroom apartments. So we'll end up with three commercial offices so we're not expanding the footprint we're not developing anything else it's strictly so it's the three new apartments three new apartments mm -hmm. okay the way the application read i first i thought it was two new apartments i thought it was two or a total of three so that was the that's confusing that's to me. what i read here yes so it's it's three apartments on the first floor three apartments and there and is one, one existing on the and there's second. one on the second oh, okay okay so okay this application is a conditional use application. Uh, this is a light industrial district. Uh, and the, um, uh, we did receive comments from Tom. And his comment is that the, uh, uh, 
Uh, couldn't find it. Okay, we're going to do it. I'm trying to listen to it because I'm going to keep it. I've got it here. I think. Do you? Here, so I got it here. Yeah. Uh, no. I don't have problems. Oh. Yeah, uh, the only Tom advises us that it's, uh, you're asking for a multifamily dwelling, which is an unlisted use, and unlisted use as a conditional use or as a use in a light industrial district, which some of them do know that. Uh, we do also have um, uh, comments from Tom in behalf of the um, uh, water and wastewater. And I presume you have these, uh, which is the uh, mm -hmm. capacity to serve water and wastewater. And we also have comments from the chief of police, chief, yeah, chief of uh, fire chief, and uh, his comments are uh, requesting an interconnected smoke and carbon monoxide detectors um, in this in, in here. Yes, yeah, so that's also a state requirement. Yeah, that, that, that he thought it was. Right. Right. So we already received that permit on this project. Okay, you have received that permit. Okay. So I think I think the the, the, the first issue I, we, we're going to go through the conditional use um, uh, criteria. Uh, <coughs> Which are, yeah, what page is that? are on page. Oh, here we go. Page 352. 351. 351. Okay. Sorry, 351. And the applicant has addressed those, or Mr. Mm -hmm. Longinus has. Uh, and we'll go through those in a moment. Um, but I think first I want to go through the first thing, which is the conditional use. And it is a conditional use in, in accordance with. Um, uh, 205C of our bylaws, which is at page 22. The Development Board Review Board grants conditional use approvals for unlisted use. This is an unlisted use. Upon determining that, in addition to other specific and general standards set forth in these regulations, the proposed use is of the same general character as those permitted or allowed and will not be detrimental. That's A. B will not be detrimental to the other uses within the district. And then if we go directly to the district standards, if we like industrial, um, I guess I'm going to ask the applicant to, to address those issues. Um, why is this a similar use to permitted uses uh, in the This is a multi use multi family. Dwelling, mm -hmm. um, multi-family dwelling, and no dwellings are allowed in this district by use or by conditional use. Okay. Um, and why are we changing? Yeah. Well, the biggest thing is because they're better, they more, more apt to be able to rent the apartments out than they are be able to lease out the uh, commercial. Well, I understand that. I think more importantly, why should the DRB approve a residential, multifamily residential unit in the light industrial district? Well, as stated in the in our breakout, is, is as far as the impact of what we're doing, it's going to be a lot less than what the what the office complex was where Easter Seal was. Yeah, and we'll go through those in a minute. Okay. Uh, but more specifically, is is it's not a permitted use in this right. district, and it's not a conditional use in this district. Even though they have the apartment upstairs. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. How did they get the apartment upstairs? It's been there forever. Well, it used to be a home. I mean, a home. A home. Yeah. Yeah. When we bought it, it was we rented <coughs> rented it as a home in 1977. We rented it until uh, 82. And there was always an apartment upstairs. It's been there since since we started. And that dates back to when? We bought the place in 77. And you say there was a residence there at that time? Oh, sure. 
It was, also, it was a whole building. It was a whole building residence. Yeah. Well, the we put on an adi addition. No, but they, they, the, 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 the the house was always uh, at that point. It was always lived in as a as a dwelling. It became an office in uh, eighty one or eighty two. The downstairs of that yeah. of that structure. And the upstairs has been rented pretty much continuously. Continuously. So you don't have a permit for that. I, uh, was I, I would say that we've got a grandfather. I don't know if that's possible, but I mean, we've been there since before permits yeah, were necessary. My, my cousin's grandparents were there. Wow. <laughs> so it's pre existing, okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, that, that was kind of my point. So what you're saying is it's been a resident that you used in the past. It still is. I mean, there's still somebody living there. There's still residents upstairs mm -hmm. now. Okay. <laughs> The biggest problem is renting that property is is the road. It's it's a mess, and, and every spring we have complaints, and we ha have a hard time renting it for, for business. And they they finally moved out. These people have been there since '92 or '93, a long time. When we were disappointed to see them leave, but it, it's it the impact on the road is going to be a lot less because there's 30 people going in and out of that place every day. It was it was rented as an office space. So today, we'll, if, if it's approved, we'll be able to have only, uh, we'll probably have three cars or maybe four, I suppose, if there's two cars in one, one of the apartments, but it'll be a lot less impact. And we just can't find renters that uh, want to deal with that road in the springtime. Mm -hmm. And I've begged this town to do something about it, but they've never been able to, so. on the wrong board. <laughs> I, know, I know, but it's 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 a fact, you know. And I've got to pay taxes of thirty-seven thousand dollars a year. And somehow I got to rent rent to be able to survive. So you yeah. So your argument is that it was a residential structure back in the seventies. Uh, it's always been the upstairs. It's always been used for residential purposes. And therefore, it is a similar use to existing. Mm -hmm. the, this board will have to deliberate that, right? Yeah. You know, because there really is nothing in here that helps us <laughs> in yeah. the new are, are there other residential dwellings or, or units in the vicinity? In, in the just, um, just the homes at the end of the road, right? Right, yeah, but that's not like just that's not yeah. Like no, yeah, that's that's, that's, that's at the bottom of the road in the yeah. vicinity, not yeah. the same district, but in the yeah. light industrial district, I'm not aware of any I'm not other aware residences. Are, are you? No, but no, I'm not. Uh, there used to be, but uh, it, again, it's gone now. Yeah. The great, uh, the other farm on the other other side where the National Life is, or uh, where the. Blue Cross Blue Shield is, but that's a long time ago. It, it's interesting, you could have a home occupation as a permitted use in a light industrial district, but you can't have a home. <laughs> well, only, only if the home occupation is excessive, if you read the bottom yeah. of that. <laughs> only if the light, ex, if the ex, um, home occupation only is an accessory used to a pre existing. Pre existing. Home. So it has to be a pre existing oh, okay. dwelling qualified. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing with the. Um, uh, you can't deny home occupation, can you anymore? Doesn't the state require you to allow it? Or maybe not. I don't think so. I see. Um, so, it, so it, uh, some of those uses that that are residential in nature are only with true are only allowed for pre-existing. Mm -hmm. But you can have a hotel or a motel. True. <laughs> we'll deliberate this separately, people. <laughs> we do need to decide that. That's yeah. that, that yeah, is that's a key a, issue. Right. I think. Mm -hmm. oh, can you have a boarding house? <laughs> um, well, if you consider a home a child care, if they have children and taking care of them. Uh, okay. Again, that's so only, only for pre existing. I know. <laughs> so, um, yeah. so, yeah. It, yeah, it's definitely all for the business related. So, if we go through the um, criteria which you've addressed, I'll uh, run through them quickly and you can speak to them as we go here. Uh, I'm on page uh, 351, mm -hmm. and really, um, uh, capacity of community facilities and utilities, which speak to local schools, police, fire. Yeah, I forget what you say, but go ahead and repeat what you said, or paraphrase what you said. 
Uh, the one bed will have minimal impact on the local schools. Number two, uh, please fire protect any of those terms that are currently available to the existing structure will not be altered. Uh, transportation, infrastructure, and maintenance will not be impacted. Uh, parks and recreation facilities will not be impacted. Water and sewer disposal and stormwater system infrastructure will be did you lessened. Any, did you get any feedback from the fire chief or the road foreman or anybody like that? Yes, we did. We did? Yes, we got a letter from them. Yeah, I don't, I don't, that, you don't have that? I don't have that. Um, I don't have it. I don't from? have it in this file. This is from the I don't have who this is from. Uh, the, one I, the only one I have is the fire chief, which I read that earlier about the smoke detector. Yeah, point okay, out that's his that's code. Yeah, the carbon monoxide. Questions by a member of the board on capacity community facilities, which seems to, seem to qualify. So oh, it's meets, on. Meets, meets the standards. It's on town water and sewer. Yes. 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 And sewer allocation and, and water allocation have been granted. Yes. Yeah. Right. Which is going to be less. <laughs> yeah. And that's. Yeah. The impact's less, and I think you've made that point throughout. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, traffic. Uh, the proposed change will reduce traffic volumes by limiting of the office traffic. All the traffic concerns are not applicable to this request. Uh, character of the area, the character of the building area will be unaffected by this change. Um, natural resources protection, not applicable. As now let me just go back to the, you're, you're going a little faster. Okay. <laughs> well, it's all right. We, we like haste. Uh, we like okay. home. Um, the, um, uh, I guess I guess that's one of the things that I, I was looking at and this is be a, a more residential use in an area that's not right. residential and frequently there are conflicts with residential uses in areas where we have airports <laughs> we read about Brompton all the time um, but this would seem to be minimal any questions about it? I just so you said traffic's lessened. How much traffic was there with the office? I mean, were there a lot of employees or something? Well, there was up to, well, you had employees plus customers, correct? People, business people. Patients, the lab, the patients, clients, I would call them. Yeah, the Easter, yeah. But they also used it as a, as a meeting place for the whole group. And there was many times when the parking was, they were up, up and down the road because there wasn't mm -hmm. enough space okay. where we were. Just characteristically, office space, has yeah. a greater demand for traffic than residential. I mean, as far as it will, all, I mean, as far as the location of the zillion, it makes a perfect place for an apartment house. You know, it's at the end of the street, it's mm -hmm. quiet, you know, everybody goes home at five o'clock at night, you know. Except and, UPS. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. so. Okay, um, uh, natural resource protection, again, there's no, nothing proposed structurally here, so not, not applicable. Uh, Natural research, no. Mm -hmm. Energy conservation, did you address that? Uh, yes, no work associated with, the, with this request will impede solar access by the adjacent properties. Okay. Okay. Um, conformance with the regulations. And again, you're not changing anything with regard to the structure. No, all we're doing is we, by state, by state law, we have to put some means of aggress windows out of the bedroom. That's only, we'll just be changing out a few windows out there. Was that, but that's a state requirement. So the only question of conformance with regulations is a permitted use of the district, mm -hmm. or is it a conditional use um, as it would be allowed by the DRB? It's not, not a listed one. <coughs> um, Section 3308 is um, conditions of approval. And that's really any conditions that might be deemed necessary by the board, which we we'll find out as a result of our findings. Um, so, uh, do we have questions on this application that we have not covered? Uh, it also has to meet all the site plan review criteria. But again, since there are no changes in the site plan and there are less demand for parking, um, 
and anxious, and I don't see that that's going to be an issue. I don't see that it's going to be a cycle. Well, unless there's something about use, right? I'm just looking through the site plan. I guess it's not really... No. Again, they're not changing the site. Yeah. Um, there are exterior lights there now, right? Yes. No. I mean, you're not changing anything. You're not changing, not changing lighting. Anything. You're not changing parking. No. It's, just, it's just courtesy lights and lights out in the parking lot. Just carving out three apartments and what was previously office. That's it. Mm -hmm. And there, one's a one bedroom and two's a two bedroom. Okay. Well, there's one no studio, one, one one bedroom, and then there's one two bedroom. Okay. Okay. Other questions by the board members? Josh, no. No. Uh, additional comments by the applicant? Or the applicant I would just pray that you approve it because uh, it's the best alternative for our future ability to rent the property. And obviously it would be little or no impact, additional impact. It's actually less. I well, mean, that's, that's yeah. what I'm saying. And I, to be honest, I, I mean, that building is... the. The experience we've had with the dwelling upstairs has been phenomenal. I mean, we've never had a problem. We've been rented consistently. Maybe we've lost somebody for a month, but it's immediately rented again. And there's never been a peep out of anybody. I mean, it's it's. It, in fact, we consider it safety for the area in, in the evening because it's it's there's somebody there. But uh, obviously, it's yeah. not maybe your consideration, but for us. It's, it's always been a good experience to have the, the dwelling upstairs. It's never been negative. Mm -hmm. I'm not familiar with the structure, and I guess I'm, I'm not familiar with the history of the building, so that was lightning that you the, shared here. It goes back to 1844, actually. Wow. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Didn't know. Yeah, no. Didn't know them. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're, you're Faye's cousin? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How's she doing? Good. Oh, good. He's working for the mall now. See she had there. a residence right there, very close. Oh, that, you're talking about K Bar. Yeah. No, K Bar is not my cousin. K Nuisel is my cousin. Oh, okay. K Bar was my, their, that's their aunt. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Gwen was uh, my K, my, the K I was referring to was her mother. So that's K's, K Bar's sister. Was of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, there was no change in the zoning district, was there? I mean, it's been in the, has been this property has been in the light industrial district for a while. Yeah. I can't can't speak to whether the previous light industrial allowed residential or not. It you may know? have. It may have. I don't. Know. I don't know how. When did that zoning ordinance? Just, uh, we just, just changed, changed it. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. just recently. New ordinance. Okay. Yeah. March. Just the last town meeting. And I know we debated. I'm on the planning commission. We debated. Residential use in the industrial areas, and yeah, anyway. Um, well, we should have done it last year. I don't know what it's allowed. It I don't remember what it's allowed yeah. last year, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, it could could be the same, so. Yeah. so uh, don't kick yourself. <laughs> oh, I've, I've done a lot of that over the years. <laughs> Okay, if there's no further testimony. A motion to close the hearing. Second. And motion made and seconded. We close this hearing. Is there a discussion on that motion? Hearing none, all those in favor of that motion, please sit there and say aye. 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 Opposed? And we have closed this hearing. And one million in all of your decision? Um, probably in a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks. Our recording secretary is not here tonight, so she's going to have to take it off the tapes mm -hmm. um, and uh, in, in the video, which is very good. It's very helpful. Yeah. Uh, so, but uh, but she has other other projects too. Right. Sure. So, uh, in fact, that's where she is tonight. And no time. You smoke it. Okay. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. David, you have something? No. Okay. <laughs> Just because I called you? Just saying. Yeah, I didn't mean. I, I didn't mean to call you. <laughs> Wait, you called him and asked him to come here? No, I, 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 I was on my car, so I said, call. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> I said, call Gunther. Now listen to this. Call Gunther Warnick. 
Give me, give me. That's so good. That's funny. Come back. Why is it Bob? I saw your name pop up. I couldn't, I couldn't get you. I said, how Oops. So much for my pronunciation. <laughs> I don't need anything anymore, right? <laughs> <laughs> you need to review the applications, the findings. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, You're very good getting rid of it right away. The only thing we have on our agenda tonight, um, besides going to the Olympic session where we kick everybody out, is the um, minutes of yeah. our last meeting, which oh, yeah. are misplaced. But I remember reviewing them. I remember. I, remember, I had yeah. no issues with the minutes of the right. last meeting. Right. And so, um, would somebody make a motion to approve those minutes? I I move. Okay, I move to approve the minutes of, was it September 17th or something like that? Yeah. Second. Motion been made and seconded to approve the minutes of our last meeting. Uh, discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah, you're not here. Yeah. You're not here. You can actually approve the vote. Was that the hearing that I was on? Yeah. That's, oh, yeah, you, yeah, that's right. You were the applicant. Oh, oh you yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's right. So yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. you do have to stand. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> that seemed longer ago. It does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Things. Yeah. Okay. Good point. <laughs> um, so, uh, I think we should probably go into the liberal session. Mm -hmm. Motion to go into deliberative session at 8.03 uh, p.m. Second. 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 <laughs> second. And been second. Motion to remain second. We're going to deliver session. All those favor that motion, please say aye. 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 aye.